the word got to already be there before you get in trouble. Like I can't listen. I, I can't call. I can't call nobody for a Bible verse when I'm in trouble. I need it right now. We got to. We got to build up our own spiritual health. We got to spend time with God. Not only that. I don't know how long I'm preaching that thing. How long I'm preaching. I, I, preach I, preach I done got sidetracked. Right. I'm gonna be like you one day and preach in nine minutes. I ain't got there yet. Y'all pray for me. We we we. Not only do we. Ah, let me let me skip a little bit. I'm gonna hold y'all too long. But remember, we have to uh, walk with God. And then sometimes we have to learn to war with God. Mm -hmm. yeah. By that I mean let God mm -hmm. fight our battles. Mm -hmm. That we understand who the enemy is. All right, right. And that we understand on our best day that enemy is stronger than we are. We need the help of the Lord on our side and let God fight our battles. Because the Bible tells us this is not about flesh and blood. Yes, sir. Oh, y'all don't want to help me right now. So we're going to put ourselves in high places. No, that, that, that is your place. We, we need to humble ourselves sometimes and, uh, and, and let God fight our battles. Amen. Sometimes we jump out there and just mess everything up. That's true. Just jump out there and just mess everything up. It, it, it's, not, it's not your play, player. Do your part. Run the route that has, that, that has been set before you. Run the route. That means do your part. Study. And then what the Bible say? Did the Bible tell you to study? Why tell you to study? They tell you to study. They tell you to study. Me to study to impress God. Is that what I told us to study? We come in here and brag about how much time we spent with the Lord last week. In terms of study, we need to humble ourselves and understand that God is still blessing each and every one of us. And all of us, at one point or another, get five ways get raggedy as a mango seed. We need to humble ourselves. And then lastly, and I'm going to try to close with this tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna try. We have to learn how to win for God. Amen. Y'all remember Joshua. Uh, God uh, guided him across Jordan. And, and Joshua and them, uh, Moses had Joshua and them go out and spot out the land. That's right. And the Bible says that only Joshua and Caleb believed. And because the others didn't believe, God allowed them to die in the wilderness. Amen. Uh, but when they got over across the Jordan, they saw this fortified city uh, called Jericho. God spoke to Joshua. And just like he spoke to Joshua then, God is still speaking to us today. He said, Joshua, what I want you to do is for six days, I want you to walk around that city, and I want you to walk around one time per day. And then he said, on the seventh day, I want you to walk around that sixth time, and on the seventh time, Joshua, I want you to blow the trumpets. Right. And when they blew the trumpets, the people began to shout, ah, and the walls became tumbling down. I need to tell somebody today that the wall didn't come tumbling down because they waited to give God praise uh, when the uh, walls came tumbling down, but rather they gave God praise before come on. Yeah. the walls came tumbling down. We need to learn how to give some about to praise. Anybody know what about to praise is? Uh, my God in heaven, he's about to open some doors that no man can close. I'm trying to tell somebody that he's about to close some doors that no man can open. My God in heaven, he's about to heal.
heal. Somebody on the doctor said there's no more that we can do. I'm trying to tell somebody that he's about to bring some love in your heart when you've been full of hatred for, uh, for as long as you can remember. I'm trying to tell somebody that my God is about to forget. He's about to heal some of our broken spirits. He's about to remind us of just how powerful uh, he is. If you don't mind uh, today, I want somebody to stand on their feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Somebody stand on your feet. Somebody stand on your feet. And, 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 and here's what I want. Here's what I want. <laughs> Lord, I thank you. I want everybody. They're all eyes closed. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. And I want you to think about your own experience. I want you to take a moment and reflect back over your own life. Go back as far as you choose to go, but I want you to reflect back on your own life. And if you find a time where you readily identify where if God wanted you gone, he could have taken you out right then. And hell would be your home. I want you to think about the fact that God sent his son to die on Christ's cross for you and for me. In spite of the fact that we didn't deserve uh, the grace and the mercy that he has bestowed upon us. I want you to think about the fact that God has blessed you in spite of yourself. I want you to think about the fact that God has loved you when you don't want to love nobody. I want you to think about the fact that God has forgiven you when you don't want to forgive nobody. I want you, I want, I want you to think about the fact that God has loved you all of your life. Amen. He didn't just wait for you mm -hmm. to get it together. Right, right. I'm so glad that God didn't like some of us. Amen. I'm glad God didn't like some of us. We, we, we. Some of us can talk a good talk. But we ain't about that life. We, we, we. We, we ain't about that life. All right. And just so I'm clear to the scribes and the Pharisees and attendants, when I say we ain't about that life, I'm talking about when we say we love God. Amen. When we say that we love God. Mm -hmm. But when the rubber meets the road. Yes, sir. Come on. It don't matter how long you've been a member of the Church of Christ. Don't matter. Come on. Like my last sermon. It don't matter how many Bible studies you've attended. Yeah, yeah. It don't matter how much money you need the money. But it don't matter. Don't matter. How much money you put in the basket. Bible tells us how will men know how will men know that we are Christian how will men know those on the outside of these walls those on the outside of the fellowship if you will how will your co-worker know how will those Walking up and down them turn. How will they know that you are my disciples? Bible says, by the love. By the love. That's right. By the love. That's right. Yes, sir. That you have one for another. Yes, sir. That means I can pick and choose mm -hmm. That's right. who I show love to. That's right. That's right. That's right. Man. I got to love everybody. everybody. Yes, sir. Because I need for God to love me. Amen. When I'm standing there in front of the judgment seat of Christ, when I'm standing in front of the judgment of God, I need some love. 
in the room. I can't stand there on my own. I'm glad today. I'm trying to hold you, boy. I told you I ain't, told you I ain't good as you. I'm, 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 I'm glad today that, that, that the Bible tells me mm -hmm. that we have an advocate. Yes, Somebody to plead my case yes, sir. to the God of heaven. Mm -hmm. I'm glad today that we have somebody, that I have somebody who can talk to the Father in a way that I can't talk to the Father and say, Daddy, I've been there. Been there. I've been there. Daddy, you don't know the power. I better stop. I'm about to get you real. You all right? You all right? I better stop. Get to the ball. Get to it. I better stop. Keep going. Keep going. I always got you real. Get real. Listen. Listen. If there's someone here and this lesson has touched you and you and yeah, yeah, we, yes, life gets hard. Yes, you've been struggling. Yes, we have issues. Yes, you ain't the only one. We all, if we're honest about it, we all have those moments where we uh, uh, conduct ourselves outside of the will of the Lord. I say it that way. Was that, was that? That said it pretty good. I'm, I'm trying to do that pretty. That was pretty. Okay. That pretty it up sometimes. Listen, he said, he said his he sent his son to die mm -hmm. for your sins and mine. Yes. And for those who need to hear it, put put up the uh, the uh, we call it the uh, five step and thing. There it is. Yes, sir. Uh, hear the gospel. Mm -hmm. Believe the gospel. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Huh? Repent of your sins. Mm -hmm. Confess Christ to be God's son. Yes, sir. And then be buried mm -hmm. in the watery grave of baptism for the remission of your sins. Yes, sir. And he's promised to give you a crown of life All right. that will never, ever fade away. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Does that make you glad? Mm -hmm. All right. You gotta love the positive if you don't mind. God is good. God is good. God is good. Examine yourself and make the proper response as we sing the song of invitation.